Hello, all you amazing people, and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what to do if you feel that you're never going to enjoy life, and if you feel that DPDR is actually ruining your life, it's sapping it from enjoyment, you've got sort of no hope for the future, and basically you just can't see a way out of this. In this video, I am going to be a little bit tough with you. I am going to give you some hard truths, and these are basically the facts from what I've learned through experience and through chatting with other people with um, DPDR, some of the things they've gone through, and also what I've gone through myself. So basically, it's something which is really tricky, this whole concept of, I'm never going to be able to have fun anymore, and DPDR has just ruined my life. And this is the whole concept of living in your story. I'll get into what living in your story actually means in a little bit and how to turn that around. But initially, I want to talk about something which sort of psychologically happens with people, the way that they think and the way that they do things. If you are saying to yourself things like, I'll never be able to have fun again, I'll never be rec recovered from DPDR, I just want you just to hit pause for a minute, like not on the video, but in your mind, just hit, hit pause for a sec, take a step back. And let's look at that statement. I'll never be able to have fun again. Now, I, I would challenge that. I would like you to think right now, just cast your mind back from when you first got this to this moment. Is there literally no time in that entire time that you've even glimpsed the slightest amount of fun? And the chances are that if you sort of look hard enough and think hard enough that you will actually be able to remember a time of, oh yeah, actually I remember I went out with my friends that evening. And even though it only lasted for a couple of hours, that was pretty fun. So this whole notion of, I, I can't enjoy life. I'll never be able to have fun. This is actually part of the issue, which is keeping the DPDR there and which is slowing your recovery. And this is also a self-defense mechanism. How this self-defense mechanism works is if you say to yourself something like, I'm never going to have fun, then what happens is when you go out you with friends, and then you don't have fun for whatever reason, and then you can say to yourself, see, told you, wasn't going to have fun. So it's almost like you're, you're not letting yourself off the hook, but you're almost saying to yourself, well, I know that I'm not going to have fun. Therefore, if I tell myself that, then when I don't have fun, it's not going to be so painful and I'm not going to be so upset about it and I'm not going to be so sad. This takes me back to the beginning of the video where I mentioned about being stuck in your story. Now, sure, you've got DPDR, however severe it is for you and however bad it is for you, that does suck. And it is a real, very real thing which is happening in your life right now. But as bad as your story might be, you have to ask yourself, how is it serving you right now to keep living out that story day after day after day? And I think if you sort of question yourself that way, then you're going to maybe come to the conclusion that, well, maybe it's not really that this is not serving me to, to be able to, to be living, living my story out this way, like day after day after day. And that's where it comes to creating a different story for yourself? Like, how do you actually want to see yourself? Are you going to look at it as, well, there's no point going because I'm just not going to have any fun? Or are you going to look at it as, well, maybe last time I didn't have fun, this time I don't know the future, why don't I go with an open mind? And just even that slight little shift might sort of allow that fun to be there because you're not going looking for all the bad things, you're going there with an open mind and you're going there sort of seeing what's actually there rather than you telling yourself what you think is there. And a really big example of living in your story with DPDR is I can't do this because I've got DPDR. I hate doing that because I've got DPDR. I'll never be able to do this because I've got DPDR. And while while that might be true, while you might hate these things and you feel like you'll never be able to do these things, how is it serving you just to keep telling yourself that over and over and over? All you're doing is reinforcing that you're never going to get over it. or You're just reinforcing that you don't like this or this isn't fun or this isn't going to work or what's the point in doing this? What can you do to 
start being open to the possibility of having fun and realizing that your past story isn't you right now and it's not you into the future. If you can understand the concept of being stuck in your story, then this really is going to allow you to branch out of that and create a new story for yourself. For example, you might say something like, oh, I can't go to the shops. It's too hard. So that, that's the DPDR talking. But if you want to sort of shift that around, you could say, um, I'm choosing not to go to the shops because at the moment it's really unfamiliar to me. So you see how that sentence, it sort of gives the power back to you. You're choosing not to go. Therefore, you can choose to go. And it's unfamiliar to you. And what's the, the opposite of unfamiliar? It becomes familiar. So if you say to yourself, okay, yeah, it's really unfamiliar for me right now. And I'm, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm going to make the choice to go there. And the more that I do it, the more familiar it's going to become, the more safer it's going to feel and the better I'm going to get at it. I really do believe that you have what it takes to recover and everybody has what it takes to recover, but it might change a bit of thinking. It might change a bit of work. It, it, it might need a bit of work. It might mean being a little bit uncomfortable. It might mean facing some hard truths about yourself. But if you do start to see yourself in a different way, start to get outside of your comfort zone a little bit, because essentially that's where all the healing happens outside of the comfort zone, then you are really going to see a lot of progress and a lot of improvement. And once you start seeing that, then you're home, you're home, you're home, you're on your home stretch, you're home free. Um, because that does create a lot of momentum and it gives you hope and it gives you hope for the future and you know all, all that other type of stuff my friends i hope you have liked the video and learned a little bit and if you have any questions about changing your story or about your dpdr or how to overcome it then please reach out to me all my contacts are in the description of the video and i'll be happy to have a chat with you about what you're going through and until next time my friends have an excellent day and i'll see you all in the next video bye Thank you.